Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and in this video, we're gonna go over stocks I'm currently buying and loading up on because I feel like the valuations are extremely attractive, and so I wanna go over all of these stocks with you guys right now. So the first stock that I wanna mention here is UAVS AG Eagle Aerial Systems. And so this is a drone stock. I personally am a big believer in pioneer companies, regardless of what industry they're in. If you are a pioneer in your industry, chances are you are going to do very well in terms of stock appreciation. And so when I see a stock like UAVS, this is a stock that I have traded in the past. I've owned this for a period of time. It has maxed out here at around $17, $18. We're currently trading at $1.72. And I want to go over why I personally think these are very attractive levels to be buying at. I've held this at the $3 range, the $6 range, and the $11 range. And so now I'm actually looking at this and it would be the lowest average cost I would have ever had on this stock. And so this stock has been getting hammered with lawsuits, some fake propaganda. It ran up initially because there was some sort of rumor that these guys are going to work with Amazon and that did not come to fruition. And so we have seen the price just continue to sink as the overall markets have been dropping as well. And so there's two levels that I'm currently watching right now with UAVS. I had a first order in at around $1.90, just a starter position. And now I have a second level here at around $1.50. And this is where I'll have another order set in for an even larger position in this stock. When I'm looking at this overall, I believe that UAVS is going to be a great play for the long term. I think right now it is a great time to be buying this cheap. I personally do think it will go a little bit lower as the overall markets continue to dip. I do believe UAVS is also going to be bundled in with that drop. And so I'm not going in big just yet. I am just nibbling away at some shares just so I have some exposure to this play. And so that's the first stock I'm looking at, UAVS. The next stock that I continue to buy and the stock that I have the biggest position in is iGen Networks, ticker symbol IGEN. So this stock has just recently guaranteed us some government contracts. And so we are starting to see this hype kind of settle down. Our price action has cooled off a bit. Still no worries. I do expect us to eventually get another back test on our green 50 day SMA. The price action has been quite steady so far. We did actually close below our yellow 20 day SMA, which is a slightly bearish signal. But because we are still above our 50 day SMA, I do think these are great times to be accumulating this stock for the long term. I think these are base levels. There's not too much exposure on this play. And so the way I see it is if we look here at our accumulation, our current shareholder base refuses to sell this stock. So what does that mean? If this stock gets more news out, more and more people are going to jump into this stock. And so that more money is going to get pumped into this stock. But the current shareholder base refuses to sell, which means that the price can't really go much lower. Yes, the market makers can bring this down, but that means that the move to the upside is going to be very quick, very spontaneous, and it's going to be very dramatic. And so that is why I love this stock. We are at base levels. People right now don't want to sell. According to our accumulation, nobody's really selling. However, a price continues to go down. So these are textbook opportunities to be buying the dip on a play that I believe will be well above these prices years down the line. And so with iGen, this is my second stock that I continue to buy and accumulate. The next stock that I'm looking at right now is High Tide. So High Tide, I currently already have a position in this one. And I have made a video earlier on in the year talking about this gap to fill at around $4 and 76 cents and so this is a gap that i've been waiting to fill and so i have yet to really build a strong position in high tide i'm waiting for this level and this gap to be filled before i start to throw a lot more money into this and so i do have a limit order set here for high tide and once we get to this level i will be having a lot more money get into this play and building out the position that i truly want and so i've been skeptical about high tide stock price not so much the company the company is doing great things behind the scenes they continue to have positive revenue streams they continue to acquire more companies however the company does not equate to the share price and vice versa and so this gap in my opinion was a pretty massive gap to fill and so I did suspect at one point in time we would get this gap to fill and now that our price action is now slowly sinking down I do believe that this will get filled and that is where I will have my limit order set and that is where I will be buying a bulk of high tide 
and that will be where I go fully long on this stock. The next stock that I am continuing to buy is Humble Inc. This is the once in a generation play. You're buying a top startup that has been featured in Forbes magazine. This is one of the highest performing plays in the last couple years and so this is a company that will continue to overachieve in my opinion that will start to get listed on higher exchanges as time passes on they continue to put out new products onto the line and they continue to target different verticals and so humble is a stock that i continue to accumulate bit by bit because we are finally below my average cost i have actually been blessed with an opportunity to continue to buy when humble was first on my radar i only was able to buy a small position and I saw this run up extremely and I was very mad at myself because I didn't put more money into it but now I'm getting blessed with a second chance to load up as many shares as I possibly want at very attractive prices and so humble is a stock that I continue to buy which I actually did buy some shares of today and so as weeks pass on as my paychecks come in certain percentages are going to this stock I believe that this is the once in a generation play I will mention it again I'm a strong believer in this company this management and what they are going to do in the digital economy and so humble is again a play that I have on my radar and so should you the next stock I have on my radar is STNG Scorpio tankers this is a company that I've owned in the past. I bought this stock last year in 2020 and it continued to just go down, 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 even when everything was looking so good for the stock. And then it eventually ran up and this is where I sold at these levels of resistance. And so now I currently don't have a position in this stock. I have learned with the shipping industry that these stocks go down for a very long time and then they go up for a very long time. And so when you think is the right time to get into it, chances are it's gonna go even lower. And so I've been watching STNG and it's getting back to very attractive price levels. Robert Bugby continues to buy call options for this company. So I know in the short term, it may not be the best time. We may see more volatility in price action, but the five to seven year plan for product tankers is going to be explosive. These guys have a massive fleet. They have a newer eco fleet. And so their competition is going to continue to scrap their ships. All that means is they're going to get more business. They're going to get a higher premium because their ships are cleaner and because there's going to be so much more demand and such a restriction on supply that is just going to put the rates through the roof and when the shipping rates go through the roof shipping companies tend to pay a lot of money through dividends and so stng is definitely a play on my radar currently there is this level of resistance that i am watching on this stock once we break past this level is when i will open up a long position and so if you're looking for a very nice value play this company is trading well below nav and so they are at a very nice discount and i believe once they get up to about 23 24 which is their favorite their value they only have more room to the upside because I believe because of what I've mentioned before oil is not going anywhere these guys are gonna get a ton of business they're gonna be responsible for the transport of that petroleum oil and this product tanker is going to pay out tons of money in dividends once the rates go up and so it's just a matter of time till that happens and so right now you just have to weather the storm if you're still in the stock but for me I am waiting for this level of resistance to break until I fully go long again. Next stock that I'm looking at right now is ticker symbol IQ. So IQ, I'm actually extremely astonished that it even got as low as where we are right now. This company trades at a mere $3 billion market cap. This company has millions of subscribers just on their YouTube channel. They have hundreds of thousands of subscribers on their platform, but because they are in China, they are getting clobbered right now. And so this weakness in share price is not gonna last forever. This company is grossly undervalued, and I can't believe we're even at these prices right now. The stock IPO'd around $18. I've owned this stock at 18. I've owned this stock at 22. I've owned this stock at 12. And so I thought, we weren't even going to go lower than about ten dollars but here we are today at four dollars and 52 cents absolutely astonishing if you just look at this chart it looks terrible you can see we're well away from all of our smas and so there's going to be a massive massive run at one point in time for this company and so if people think this is going to go bankrupt or they're going to keep going lower that's not how it works whenever you see a stock get decimated like iq is this is going to have a crazy rebound at one point iq right now is an easy buy in my opinion and so i just want to show you guys how oversold this company is this is on the weekly time frame right now we have an rsi below 30 which means we are officially oversold 
And this is on a weekly time frame, which means that on a long term basis, you are getting this at such cheap levels that at one point in time, this will eventually get all the way back up to an overbought situation. And that is where you want to play IQ. Buy now, sell when you're at an RSI of about 70, rinse and repeat. I do believe for the long run, this is going to be a steal. Once we finally get over these fears in China and everything that's going on with the economy, this will eventually prosper. But the weakness in share price is an opportunity. So I'd be looking at IQ and I think you should too. And so we're just going to stick with these plays for now. Now, I will be making a part two to this video very soon just so you guys can have even more stocks to look at but these are the main ones that I'm personally looking at I have a position in a lot of these and I will continue to buy more on this dip and I think these are great opportunities for people who are trying to get into very nice plays and so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like we are on the road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to hit that subscription button yesterday also represented the one year anniversary for the beginning of this channel channel i made my first video last year on december 19th and a year later a whole bunch of videos later a whole bunch of subscribers later i want to thank each and every single one of you and i am trying to coordinate some sort of giveaway and i will be getting that done out there very soon because i really appreciate every single one of you guys that come in tune in watch these videos and support me it means a lot to me and so it's a dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i'll see you guys in the next one